Silas. And he is going to lock that one in. Silas into things like the Alistair, always very valuable. So strong. Tristana ultimate, the Lee Sing kick can also be good. But I will say that of the LC, sure. they can answer. So I think it was really smart with how they played the two versus two. Um, and because Perks had to push in mid, as they go for another 2 2 and a gank in mid. Showmaker dives onto Perks, he's gonna have to flash away, but Canyon with the Flame Spitter will secure the first kill of the game. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, Vulcan forced to flash away. Oh, he went oh, the other okay, way. Nice. Really smart pathing there from Blabber. Flash still available for Khan, he's gonna look for the flash knockback. Blabber flashes forward, Fudge going in with the kick as well. The Sonic Wave connects and C9 get there. They yep. will be able to take down a tower and they can either funnel more money into potentially Showmaker. With a minute and a half on the clock before this Cloud Drake, I wonder if we'll see Dan Wonk here trying to set up around it. Beryl is going to face check straight into Sven and Vulcan here. Perk's on his way as well, and Beryl might just be dead before he can even join the fight. Knockup comes out, but Sven gets the kill. Priority. Importantly for C9, they did take the first Drake, so there's no fear of stacking, but Canyon's looking for Perks here in the mid lane. Gravity Well comes down and Perks burns. In comes Blabber as well, looking for the damage onto Showmaker. Gets one, he's looking for two. Canyon underneath the tower will die to Blabber. Labber, he gets hooked back in. The turret damage will not be enough to kill him off. Even Ignite won't tick him down. Blabber with two kills in the mid lane. Looked like a big overstep from Perks in the mid lane there, but fortunately Blabber was able to come up clutch. He understood how much damage he has, was able to flash in, and was able to turn around. Now C9's looking for more. They know Bell doesn't have flash from that play earlier on, and Fudge is on the board. Uh, Darmon thought that they had the numbers advantage there. They weren't prepared for Blabber, and now they're looking for another dive. Vulcan pops the up. Khan still has the flash. He's going to try and get underneath the tower, tries to put the damage down. Vulcan tanking as long as he can. Blabber will survive as he walks Chase him down and Perks will be able to survive. Forced away, has the teleport to join the lane once again. Dan Wonkia will take the Cloud Dragon as their comeuppance for that play. So I am a little surprised that Cloud9 chose to gave away the Herald uh, in favor on top side. They have the rise on Perks. He respects the positioning as we see fighting in bot. Fudge is going to try and 1v1. Khan here does have the kick, uses it. Khan trying to change the damage back. Fudge in the middle of the minions. The With the Rift Herald. C9 looking to take down this mid-tier one. Vulcan in a little bit of a bad position here. Equalizer available for Canyon. There's the unbreakable will as the Vulcan just gets pulled back. It lands the knockup, but Canyon can still look for the chase. Going into the overheat. Sven's going to get knocked up as well. There's the equalizer across two. Goes diving onto the back line. You can see on the front, it's Blabber trying to do what he can. Bevel goes down first. Showmaker diving in. Canyon trying to get away. Fudge doing so much work in these fights. He lands another Q. The call of the Q going in for the lease in. Sven gets deleted by Ghost. And in the end, it's a three. Let's see if they can get further advantages against Darmon. As Sven has no flash. He's got nowhere to jump either. You can't get over any of those walls. Sven goes down. Showmaker with the kill. And that flash in the mid lane play comes back to bite Sven. Creative punish there from Darmon. Why would you expect Showmaker to be shadowing in the top side of the map? There is no one to sit and answer bot wave, but they're saying, you know what? We don't care. We'll trade the bot tier one because we know we can get the top tier one and we'll also get a kill. Now Blabber has his eyes on Khan. Perks is there as well. Puts down the death ray. Blabber trying to trade in. Goes coming in from the side as well. Vulcan should be able to retreat under the safety of his tower. And the play doesn't really come to too much. Importantly, though, Fudge pushing in a side lane. This guy was three plates down in the top lane he was a thousand gold behind he's now five one and one on this lease sin and he's able to split push and no one from damon kia can really match him damon though say we're just going to push in the mid lane unbreakable will coming out from vulcan but ghost goes on a rampage now perks on the front line has to flash away from the equalizer but still takes half his hp damon kia looking for the tower in the more beneficial for cloud nine because right now this would be soul point if they already had that Cloud Drake from earlier. They could make sure that four of their six playoff games, they were at a goal deficit at the 20-minute mark, and they still won every single one of those, and they're looking for more. Equalizer coming out as Bell lands the knockup onto Perks. Perks being rooted in place, and the flames will burn him down. Ghost dives in, Perks goes golden, but that stopwatch won't stop your demise. Ghost now knocked back, Fudge trying to do what he can, diving onto Khan, but Fudge takes so much damage, Khan flashes out. Bell down to 100 HP, Cannon unable to rejoin the fight. Fudge and Vulcan doing what they can. Yeah, to it. Mountain Drake up in 50 seconds. Vulcan going in. Canyon is off to the side here. He's waited outside of vision. Canyon puts down the equalizer. Beryl is going to be able to walk away for the moment, but Fudge has a great flank, and Beryl is sniped by C9. They saw that. Try and fight this. Vulcan takes a chunk. 3,000 HP on the dragon. Here comes the TP. Equalizer not in the best of spots. The Showmaker tries to dive onto the back line. Vulcan doing what he can to disengage the fight. Dragon secured by Canyon, but he will fall. Vulcan doing what he can, and Showmaker dives onto the back line. The rest of Damon Kia trying to get in here as well. Sven over the side of the wall is getting the damage down as much as he can, but Blabber now on the front line has to pop a stopwatch of his own. Sven now diving in, looking for the damage at C9's team fighting may have come online. Khan trying to do what he can, but here comes Sven getting the damage down onto Ghost. It's Sven and Fudge versus Showmaker and Ghost, and Sven and Fudge are winning! Showmaker tries to get the damage, but he can't quite do it. It's Fudge, it's Showmaker. Lee versus Silas. In
been a mano a mano battle in the river and in the end it looks like fudge is going to disengage showmaker no flash does have the abscond steals away the dragon's rage kick but he won't be able to chase down fudge Fudge, you gotta run man there's no way you can win that 1v1 right now coming up clutch for c9 it's a thing with young players, man. The no, we... there goes the fast side alteration. 6,000 HP on the Baron, but it's chunked out. He's already gone down on Kyo. Gonna get it, but C9 might look for the fight. First Sonic Wave hits from Fudge. He tries to get in, but he's knocked back immediately. Cannon gets an equalizer down. He's separated from the rest of Damwon Kia, but Showmaker is looking for the engage. Can't quite let the abscond. Sven's gonna get knocked up. Fudge trying to do what again as he gets the blast going back. Ghost dives across the wall down towards the bottom side of the fight. You can see Perks get a kill by Showmaker in a 1v3. Showmaker is winning the fight for his team. Khan has killed Blabber. Showmaker's gonna escape. Oh, Canyon kills Fudge, and somehow Damwon Kia win the fight. Just like that, Damwon flipped the switch, and now they have everything that they could have asked for. They get themselves the ban, they win out on a team fight. Showmaker looking it, for more! It's flashing in, he's looking for perks, but he can't quite get it. Vulcan will secure it. Now up, it's a mountain, only the third of the game. Equalizer goes down onto Sven, he's gonna jump away, That's but good. he needs to engage onto Canyon, and Canyon just dies. That's another player without Baron. That is sole point for C9. And although Baron, of course, still in Damwon Kia's hands, only 2,000, I would say about 2,400 in total gold gained from this. And remember, you get a thousand an opportunity. Wouldn't be surprised if they actually funnel these onto a player like Ghost to give him even more farm. A showmaker will take another tier two level. Oh, they just dive onto Sven, who jumps away. That's Ghost's ultimate use. Of course, we'll be back up for the next fight, but Showmaker, Showmaker wants a little bit more. He dives in with the Everfrost. Vulcan has a really good flank position here, but the Equalizer they is in him. the perfect spot. Showmaker diving in once again. Vulcan goes low. Showmaker will take him. But now Showmaker's on the front line, and Fudge trying to get onto the back. Can't quite hit the Sonic Wave. Showmaker will fall. Sven and Perks will secure that kill. Khan diving in onto Fudge. Sven trying to get the damage down. Just needs a few autos. Just start so strong in the late game, but they just don't have the damage. They are caught in a choke, and Khan with the Shock Blast will force Cloud9 to go back to the fountain. How did Damwon get away with that? I thought that they were griefing right there. Ghost and Showmaker were so split from their team, but again, we see the durability of Showmaker on this Silas. Stealing away the Alistar ultimate again. They end up coming out on top. They will get themselves. Coming in, Cloud9 trying to gain control, gain mid prior. So Correct, Bevel. Check. Walks in, GA now available for Fudge. Bell takes a little bit of damage. Fudge down to half HP. Vulcan on the front line. Showmaker diving onto the back. Sven will manage to jump away, and Bevel and Fudge and Sven have all been chunked. Dragon up seven seconds. Cloud9 can give this if they want. Showmaker doesn't have ultimate, but it's a very low cooldown. The question is, will he be able to steal Vulcan Fudge again back, got the next time around? Vul Vul Fudge has returned to the fight. Here we go. This is it. In goes Vulcan. Here comes Blabber. Fudge dives onto they the got back it. line. They shut down Ghost, and they're looking for more. Blabber's gone down as well, but Showmaker is now dead. Sven has free reign to open up. They're going to look to try and secure the dragon, but Canyon will get it. Khan and Fudge fighting off towards the top side. Pud uh, sorry, Perks here will kill off Khan. We'll swing the game. Cloud9. After such a disappointing first three games are... He's looking to dish out the damage. You can see Bloodthirst now completed this with Sven as well. With the Baron, they're looking to siege. Vulcan in a really good position once again to Hex Flash across the wall. We've spotted the jungle camps. They are the ones placing the wards behind enemy lines. They are the ones taking these objectives, taking these towers, and they are the ones fighting back against Adam One. Cloud9 with the team fighting comp have the power. Equalizer used to try and clear out the minion wave, but the Baron buff will be enough Showmaker. to keep him alive. Showmaker is doing a blue buff while all of this is happening. That implies before the next fight. But everything is going to be available, Medic. The C9 are not going to get that same fight that they had before. The map is basically dead even. It all comes down to team fight execution. Showmaker steals the Alistair ultimate. The question is, is this the time that they fight? Hook from Beryl misses. There's the Equalizer. Will force Cloud9 away. We'll be back up for a dragon fight if it begins. Ghost and Khan down to about half HP, but Ghost has the GA. No GA, oh, actually Fudges is back up as well. Inhibitor tower falls. Okay. C9 just bullying their way into Darmwan's base. Showmaker on the flank looking for the engage, but can't quite find it. Blabber Stepping. and Darmwan are retreating. Cloud9, you get the soul mountain at your back. Cloud Patiently, they cannot overstep because Darmwan will look to punish them. Here we are, the siege onto the final inhibitor tower. Tristana level 18, highest Attack range in the game. So easy to siege. Explosive charge does a lot of work for you as well as Damwon Kia gonna try and catch their waves in bot lane. Top lane also pushing in. I believe there's two super minions in that wave. So Khan will have to work his way up there. Next minion wave for Cloud9 will be here in five Get seconds shield, time. Man. And the clock is ticking. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Will Damwon Kia defend? The inhibitor tower is the target. Fudge gets hooked by Beryl. Ghost trying to open up onto Blabber, but that inhibitor tower is almost done. Falls down now. Ghost on the front line. Showmaker looking for the flank. Beryl going in as well, but Fudge kicks him away. C9 willing to disengage his fighter. Showmaker has to pop the Alistair out to get away. Look at how low DK are. They have to back away. They have to get back to the fountain. And Cloud9 have supers in the bottom lane, have supers in the top lane, and now have cracked the inhibitor in mid as well. This could just be it, Betty. Patience is the name of the game for C9, and they're doing just that. They're letting the minions do the work for them. Utilizing the range, take up the flash. flash hook onto Perks. Equalizer goes down, and Perks stops it all with a stopwatch. Bell down to half HP on the back line. Showmaker's trying to do what he can, but he doesn't have the damage quite yet. Fudge ticking away. Blabber down as well. Canyon still alive somehow. Everyone's surviving apart from Bevel. C9, five members strong, are knocking on the nexus of Darmon Kia. Excellent stopwatch, or Zonya's rather, coming out from Perks to buy enough time for the team to reorganize and go for the return attack. DK now only with four members alive. Sven knocking on the Nexus Towers. First Nexus Tower down, Vulcan flash in, looks for the engage. Showmaker has to pop a stop, which is his own as Ghost tries to trade on the bottom side. Showmaker somehow still alive, but now he will fall and Fudge dives in. He can sense blood, he can sense victory. Ghost forced away, the equalizer's not gonna do too much as C9 are on the Nexus. And from villains to victors, C9 take down Dam one. An incredible performance.